Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Um, so obviously the camera is not on my face right now, uh, but this is Spice right now. I just have him turned out in the realm pen. Sorry about the shaky quality. There's also going to be cars coming by, so please excuse that. But I have him in the realm pen right now, um, just to kind of let him be a horse and do what he wants. He's trying to eat the leaves right now. Um, it's kind of annoying, but um, yeah, so today's video is going to be um, kind of um, about the last video as well. Um, so there are fires right now in the state we live in and um, I'm not sure if you can tell right now, but it is super smoky out um, and hazy and um, there's a lot of people that um, leave their horses in these little wooden box stalls um when there's fires or whatever and they evacuate themselves but not their animals which is one thing i talked about which is super annoying i'm like your animal is a part of your family why wouldn't you take them behind you wouldn't leave your grandma your brother your sister your dad behind would you so why would you leave your horse or any of your animals behind um, I'm going to zoom in on him here. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but he's eating leaves. It's just super cute. Um, but people leaving their horses in fires, I think, is ridiculous. Um, it's just it's really not right. Um, but also, I wanted to talk about, like, people who are wimps in the horse world. Um, like, um my barn today um they sent out an email saying that no one could ride their horses today sorry there's so many cars um but they sent out an email i really hope you can hear me but they sent out an email saying that no one could ride their horse today because of the smokiness um and I get that you wouldn't want to be galloping, galloping your horse around for 10 minutes and then breathing super heavily um, for that 10 minutes, but this is wimpy. Um, all right, so like the sun is yellow and it's super smoky out. You can't even like see the sky, but it's not as bad as to the point where you wouldn't be able to ride your horse. Um, so tonight we're supposed to have lessons, and I know I'm late uploading, I'm really sorry. Um, but again, I'm human, things don't work out always as planned, and I'm super sorry, sorry about the shaky video quality. Um, but this is just gonna have to do, because Spice the Horse, he moves around, and I'm trying to keep it on him. Um, so, people are always also like, Blanketing their horse. I blanket my horse. I don't really have too much wrong with it. Hi, Spicy. Um, but I do think it's ridiculous people putting these heavies on um, when it's 60 degrees. And I'm literally like, you're boiling your horse in that blanket. Like, that is ridiculous. Um, and people are blanketing their horses in the 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, 10s. I would probably blanket my horse when it's 10 degrees or lower. Um, but other than that, I just wouldn't blanket. Hi, Spicy! Um, yeah, I would not blanket my horse if it's lower than 10 degrees. Um, but I wouldn't blanket them to keep them warm. I would blanket them for the moisture purposes because in my state it's really humid and um, sorry my finger keeps getting on the camera, but in my state, it's really humid, so, um, when it's cold, it gets wet too. Um, so it would pretty much trap the moisture in that blanket. Um, but when it's raining, um, or just cold at nights, it's even more ridiculous because when, if it's just cold at nights, don't blanket your horse because they grow a winter coat, they know when it's time that their hair gets thicker and that they're like, they start conserving body heat. Um, but when people put blankets on, first of all, it disrupts the natural system of a horse and it, when 
they might get cold at night, but during the day, that doesn't mean when a blanket is on a horse, that doesn't mean the horse won't sweat. And then at night, the next night, the blanket will be sweaty and wet, so then it'll be even colder. So it's pretty much guaranteeing that they'll be cold. So it's not really helping them. Horses have fur and hair for a reason. Um, and believe it or not, horses in the wild can survive without blankets. So that's why I just think people are ridiculous when they're blanketing their horses and it's 30 degrees out. I'm like, yes, it is below freezing, but the horse is not sweating unless it has a blanket on, which makes it even colder. So, um, there's Tommy blanketing people. Um, and that was just a quick video of spicy, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet here. Um, but I'm having my horse in the ash and he doesn't seem to be choking right now. Um, so I think it's kind of ridiculous and people are wimps lovey-dovey on their horses, which actually makes them weaker and doesn't help them because then when they need it and if they get released into wild, which the people like that probably won't release their horses and leave them in stalls to die. Um, but in case they ever get out in the wild, um, they really won't have those natural survival instincts and their body won't be prepared to handle that. So, um, that was my little video. Sorry about the rant type, um, video this was. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I feel everyone should have their own opinion. The only time the opinion is wrong is when it translates into, um, horse abuse or any animal abuse of any kind. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, um, spread the word, help the horse, and Spicy says bye!